Hello guys, welcome. So today we'll be looking at a number of funding bodies in the UK, funding different kinds of masters and PhD opportunities. In fact, for a number of them, you can move directly from a BSc to a PhD. Most of them have this program where they have an integrated masters. So you apply straight from a BSc to a PhD, but the first year of your PhD is usually like a masters and the other three years will constitute the PhD. So we looked at this body last time when we did a video on the University of Reading, this S-E-N-S-S. -S. There are other bodies like that offering assorted forms of scholarships as well. We'll be looking at them together. There are a number of them here, giving different kinds of fully funded scholarships both to home and international students, covering tuition, living costs, and other things. And these bodies like the SENSS, and there is this one here, the AHRC. There is another one here called CHASE. There is the Midlands Integrated Biosciences Training Partnership as well, and a number of them like that. They are present in different universities, up to 10, 12 universities as we'll be looking at together. So I decided to bring this to you today because um, the deadlines are quite close. I actually had the idea of doing something else, talking about international conferences, how to get your abstract accepted and how to get funding on international conferences. But we'll be doing that in the next video. So let's concentrate on this. So these are funding bodies. For this particular one, it funds usually fields in the social sciences. Um, you can see here what it covers already. It covers a stipend of over 17,000, and then you get like an additional 2,000 um, in case you're staying in the London area. Of course, covers tuition and it's present in 10 different universities, in 10 different universities. So when you get something like this, you might want to check different universities and see if you can even put multiple applications and see which one will go through in the different universities. So you can scroll down a little. Of course, the instruction is here. And it talks about international students as well, you can see. So usually the, the difference between the home fees and the international fees is also covered, so you do not have to pay anything. But then when you scroll down a little, you see the different universities participating in this particular one, the SENSS. You can see City University London, East Anglia, Essex, Goodsmith, there's Kent, there's Reading, there's Rayhampton, there's um, Royal Holloway, and um, Surrey and um, Sussex. So these are the universities participating in this particular one. So I've opened one of the universities I've gone to. I think I went to, yeah, this is it here. I went to City University London. I just went to the search bar and I typed SENSS doctoral training. And it took me to this page. So it has confirmed that this scholarship is actually at this university. And these are the departments it's funding. Other departments or other universities may be funded other departments as well. So just check for other departments. And of course, the benefits are also stated here. And you can see here one plus three. That's a master's plus a PhD. You can also apply for a PhD only, which is plus three. So to apply for a one plus three, according to the instruction in this particular university, you have to apply for a master's by research. And then probably from here, you'll be scaled up to a PhD. But if you're applying for a PhD directly, for a plus three, you just go for a PhD directly. And of course, it tells you how to apply for well, most of these scholarships with these bodies. You apply first to the university and also come back to apply to the scholarship body and the deadlines are also written here so you have this one in um there's one deadline here 25th and there's another one year 18th so you should check which one is which um for instance which is the university deadline and which is the um scholarship deadline so check which is which and do your calculations well so you're not caught unawares so that is it for the S-E-N-S-S -S, um, scholarship is about the full meaning, of course, is the 
Southeastern Network of Social Sciences. So check for other universities. As we saw there, how many of them? I think they said 10 of them here. So check for them and see which one covers your course. And then let's move to something else. So this is another one. This is the AHRC and it's the Arts and Humanities Research Council. It's also present in 10 different universities. You can see Abariswith, Bath, Bath Spa, Bristol, Cardiff, um, that's Greenfield. This is Exeter, Southampton, and University of West of England. So these are the universities participating in this particular, this particular funding. And like the uh, one we saw earlier, it also covers tuition, um, living cost, and things like that. So I've just checked for this particular scholarship and see whether it's present in one of these universities, just to confirm. So let's check Cardiff and see. So this is the University of Cardiff and the AHRC. It is confirmed here as well. And these are the fields eligible for the scholarship at the University of, of Cardiff. You can see media studies as well, arts and designs. So what you do there, you'd, this is your own homework. Check the deadlines, check how to apply, go to departments and see how to apply. Most of these websites already contain instructions on how to do so. So as a student, dig in. That is where you show your tenacity, no spoon feeding here. Show your tenacity, check the eligibility requirements and start applying as soon as possible. And of course, check the deadlines, check the deadlines. Most of the materials you need are actually on this channel already. Like if you're told to present a CV or a statement of purpose or a research proposal, we already have videos on this channel on how to do that. So do not worry. So do the digging and check for the requirements, the application's requirements. These are the fields, so go for them. So we're going for another one. This is the Chase Scholarship. It's the, the full meaning is the Consortium of um, Humanities and um, Arts, I believe in southeastern England. So for this one, you also have a number of participating universities. Here you can see, I think there are nine of them here, East Anglia, Essex, Kent, Sussex, Open University, Cotold Institute of Art, we have Goldsmith, we have Berbeck, and SOAS. So you can see here as well, a summary of what they cover. So I just, I've checked one of these universities and I think I checked Berbeck, so let's go to Berbeck. So this is the University of Berbeck, University of Berbeck University of London, rather. And then for the Chase, you just check through the search bar here and ch check the Chase um, studentship. And when you scroll down, you see the competition is open. You can see what it covers. This covers close to nineteen or over nineteen thousand, close to twenty thousand actually. If you check. And you, sh you should also check for the availability for international students. So here it says a maximum of 30% of the studentships can be awarded to international students each year. It means that if, for instance, they choose 10 people, um, three of them are going to be international students. So that's the meaning here. There are also links here to the um, full gist about the scholarship. And there are also webinars and access probably answering the questions you might have. And of course the deadlines. So you have a deadline here of 9th of January for applying for any of the eligible courses for this scholarship. And then you return to this Chase application form and you must fill this form by the 27th of January next year. So you can see the programs, the application guidelines for the different programs, whether the School of Arts, Law, Social Science, History, Philosophy, so it's all written here. There is no um, problem with this. So what you do now is to dig in, you know, dig in with the instructions, sit down with a cup of water, dig in and see how best to tackle this application and put forward a competitive application. So read the instruction, guys, read the instructions. And notice a number of people do not take time to read the instructions. And this video is just a summary of the opportunities out there. You have to learn to sit down and digest the information yourself as well. And if you get the scholarship or when you get the scholarship, you will know 
by April of next year. So let's move on to another one. Let's move on to the other one. So this is the Midlands Integrated Biosciences Training Partnership. I actually have a friend who actually got this. Um, actually, two, two friends, so even three of them. One got it two years ago, but one got it last year, and one got it this year, actually, yeah. I think I have three of them on this particular course, or on this particular scholarship. So this is at the University of Birmingham. However, the scholarship is also present at different universities in the UK. You can see it's present at the Warwick University, that's my university, University of Warwick, Birmingham, at um, Leicester, Aston and Harper Albert um, Adams as well. So it's for those interested in biosciences. Of course, you can read and see their areas of interest and also go to the different universities and see if there are variations. For instance, you might not like the areas of um, of um, concentration at Birmingham, you might want to check what is there at Warwick or what is there at um, one of those other participating universities, probably Leicester or somewhere else. Of course, you also check for what it's covering. Um, for my friend studying here at um, Warwick presently, it covers everything, even though the website says, or oh, this particular scholarship, this Midland scholarship, will cover just international fees. Most times the university you're applying to, the university that admits you, would cover the difference between international and domestic fees. So meaning you're not paying anything at all. Just come with your bags and your brain. <laughs> so let's check this out in um, one of the participating universities. So this is at Leicester University. Also check the deadline. Check their areas of concentration. And then I think they also have professors and what they're working on. So the projects are already outlined here. So you just have to pitch yourself to these professors with these different topics and how they align with your interest and your background. So read through and find out how you contact these people of course with the applications requirements as well so this one says the uk fee rates but if you check here i said they i think they said that they're going to sponsor one international student fee as well i think warwick sponsors all international student fees but for leicester they sponsor one of the international students fees as well so also check for these variations and see if all your fees will be covered or some of them will be covered and there are many other organizations like this apart from the ones we've looked at already whether it's the SENSS or the AHRC, or whether it's Chase or the Midlands Integrated Biosciences Training. So I think I would also leave this website for you. This website contains a number of these bodies for different disciplines, whether it's um, arts, whether it's um, um, biosciences, whether it's engineering, they have different bodies offering different kinds of scholarships. So you can look at these bodies yourself and see if there is one that funds your studies as well, your area of concentration. So this is findaphd.com and here it talks about funding bodies as well. So you can use this website, you get the name of the body and type PhD funding. Or even through this website, you might also get a number of links um, taking you straight to the universities providing funding for these different bodies. So that is it, guys. I hope it was useful. Lots of scholarships here in the UK. No one should tell you otherwise, guys. No one should tell you otherwise. For different disciplines, including the practical sciences, social sciences, humanities, as you've seen for yourself and of course lots of them um, generous funding as well as you can see funding is generous fields are generous so take advantage of this and we cannot wait to celebrate you as well and that's it guys i hope this was useful fully funded masters phd scholarships in the uk funded by different funding bodies and you can get close to twenty thousand pounds in living stipend without paying taxes by the way without paying taxes just come with your bags and your brain and come and study and that's it guys i hope this was useful put your comments in the comment section and make sure that you've also read through thoroughly um these instructions because i've noticed that a number of people do not actually pay enough attention to the instructions and often rush the comment section to ask questions questions already answered 
in most of these websites already. And that's it for today, guys. I will see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now, and do not forget to subscribe.